everyone. This video is going to explore how to publish to the web in Google Drive. So you can publish your Google Docs, slides, sheets, drawings to the web so that people don't have editing rights to them, but they can still view them in a present mode type of way. It also allows you to embed them into some other product, maybe a website or an LMS. So I have a Google Slides here, and if I want to publish this to the web so that I can just send out a link and people have access to it, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to come right down to Publish to the Web. And so it gives me two options. I can either get a published link or I can get an embed code. You also have advanced slides every three seconds, which is the default. I usually never turn this on, but if you needed it turned on, if you wanted it to loop through maybe an open house night or something like that, you could have it loop through. You also have the same thing with embed. You also have sizes. So whatever you want, you can custom create how big you want this to be. You know, with some students being on an iPad, you might not want a large embedding. You might want to stick with small or medium. But if they have laptops or Chromebooks or something bigger, you might want to be able to use something bigger depending on their screen size. So if I select publish, it'll ask me, are you sure you want to publish? Because remember, if you publish, your content is visible to anyone by publishing it to the web. So anybody can find this. So now because I'm on embed, I get an embed code or if I come over to link, I can copy this link. So I did say that this content is now visible to anybody on the web. However, in my school domain, I'm able to have a few settings here, a little bit more control over this. And anytime I want to, I can come back and stop publishing this. So if I had it published, but then I'm done with it, I can stop publishing instead of leaving it out there. But I can also restrict access to anybody in my school domain. The problem with that is it only gives you that option, not anyone with the link. So if I select this, that means even though I've embedded this in a public space, people who are not within my school domain will not have access to it. So that'll be a choice that you would have to make. And then all I would do is copy this, paste it, and this is what my audience would see. So they would get a toolbar down here to continue through my presentation. Um, they could enter it in full screen if they wanted to. They could exit full screen. But this is what it would look like from the link in the present mode.